Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So already in our previous video we started discussion on different window functions and related to this particular topic we have already covered how to calculate global rank for a particular column present in a table and based on that we can basically give answer to several popular interview questions like maybe find out the nth highest salary from employee table or something like this sort which we have already covered. And now today in this particular video, I am going to discuss another very very important concept and frequently asked interview question that is find out the cumulative sum for a particular column present in your database or data warehouse table. Okay. And for that what we can do? Basically we can use this particular property. Right. I have already discussed there are two types of frames. One is cumulative frame, one is sliding frame. So for this particular cumulative sum, we are going to use the property of cumulative frame. So what is cumulative frame? Let us try to understand first, okay? But before that, from the basic intuition itself, I hope you are getting it that in this kind of frame, if we want to specify in our query, then we must have to specify order by clause. Because cumulative frame means what? Cumulative is nothing but, suppose we are having a row 1, 2, 3, then cumulative sum will be, for first one it will be 1, for second one it will be basically computing the sum of this particular row and all the rows appeared previous to this row. So 2 plus 1 it will be 3 right then here for this one it will be 3 plus 2 plus 1 which is 6 like that cumulative sum we are calculating right. So here you can understand easily that here cumulative sum depend on current row and previous to that row whatever row appeared based on those rows combiningly we do some calculation right. So for a particular row, what are the rows will appear before that or what are the rows will appear after that depending on our cumulative calculation might change, right? That's why to make it a standard, we must have to use order by clause with this cumulative kind of work, okay? That is the first concept. That is, you should remember this point that using a window frame, whether you are using sliding concept or cumulative concept, it requires an order by. Whether you want to apply partition by or not, that is totally optional. But order by you must have to use and I hope you are getting because your ordering is important with respect to the calculation, right? Now, cumulative window frame, there are majorly two frames you can consider. One can be your current row and before the current row, whatever rows appear based on that if you want to do calculation then you can use this particular subpart in SQL, okay, that is rows between unbounded preceding, that is starting from the beginning of the table till current row, okay, that is current row and previous to that row, whatever row appeared, if you want to do calculation based on that, then you can use this particular one. Another option can be rows between current row and unbounded following, okay, that is current row and after the current row in the table whatever rows are present based on that if you want to compute certain calculation or if you want to do some data analysis based on that then you can use rows between current row and unbounded following okay but from the fundamental con concepts itself you cannot say like this current row and unbounded preceding okay this cannot be a correct window frame length okay why because whatever you will mention in the beginning that will be the starting point of the window okay and the second part will be ending part of the window okay now current row when you are mentioning in the beginning then you cannot go before the current row right so if you are mentioning unbounded preceding after current row that is a wrong frame if you want to compute something based on current row and before that current row whatever rows appear with that you want to compute then your starting part of the window should be unbounded preceding and then you have to apply current row. Similarly, this is another long window frame like for example, you cannot specify like this unbounded following and current row. Okay, why? Because unbounded following means after the current row whatever appeared and ideally this particular statement indicates that the starting part of the window is the rows which are appearing next to the current row, right? But 
our ending part is current row. So basically, with respect to this particular clause, what we are trying to say, ending is happening before beginning. That is not possible. Right? First beginning, then you should go to ending. So only these two are justifiable window frame with respect to cumulative kind of data analysis. One is rows between unbounded preceding and current row, or else you can use rows between current row and unbounded following. I hope from the English term itself you can understand. Mostly SQL language is like that. Only. That's why it is uh, standard with respect to data analysis world also, right? That is, it is like English term. Okay. From this name itself, you can understand what is the window frame we are trying to mention. Now, without any further delay, let us jump into the implementation section. Okay. So, here what I will do, I will execute a drop database, then create database, then use database, then I will create a temporary table, um, like a dummy table, and all these codes I will be providing in the description box or in the comment section, no need to worry about the code, okay? So if we do select start from this employee table, here we are getting the employee salary information, okay? Now earlier we applied Dane's rank based on this particular concept and we got the order based on employee salary, right? So now what we want to do, we want to suppose calculate cumulative sum for this employee salary column. Then how we can change the code? Very simple. I will copy this particular code and paste that here. Instead of dense rank, we want to compute basically cumulative sum is nothing but sum of salaries for a particular window you want to calculate, right? So here I will be giving EMP salary over as I have told you that when you are working with window frame, particular window frame, then obviously you have to give order by, order by employee salary, DEC, not an issue, we can give anything, right? And then here what we can do, we can take this particular clause, maybe, rows between unbounded preceding and current row, okay? And then paste that here, okay? And this we can give the alias name as Kamsam, okay, from this particular thing. So let's test it, okay? So if we execute that, see, for the first employee, it is 12,000, which is coming. Then for next employee, it is 13,000. So 13,000 plus 12,000 is 25,000, right? That's what we are getting. Then next employee salary is having 13,500. So 12,000 plus 13,000 plus 13,500 is nothing but 38,500, right? Then like that, basically cumulative sum is getting calculated, okay? Maybe you can put like this way just for uh, fun purpose I am showing. Suppose I can copy this particular one and then unbounded preceding that is before this current row whatever rows appeared start from that and then here unbounded following that is after the current row also whatever is there you consider that. That means the complete table itself is coming right. So when you will compute like this way then what will happen sum of employee salary will be nothing but giving the total salary of all the employees in all the rows. Okay. So if I execute this particular one, here you'll see that for all the rows we are going to get same values because it is calculating from beginning till end. The complete window is nothing but the complete table, right? Like this you can play and this is a very popular interview question. Many times it is asked how you can calculate cumulative sum. So just keep this concept in mind that using this cumulative frame you can work and obviously you have to use order by class if you want to mention the frame type, right? This is all for this video. Thank you.